I'm working out the plate logs for the cabin at Paradise Point. Uh, this is the plate that will go on a wall. It's completed and I'll show you what I'm doing on this upper notch. I did a different notch on the upper side than I did on the cabin that I've built for ourselves at home. Actually this is just the lower part of the half dovetail and I'll show you how I lay that out. This is one of the half logs that goes at the top that will tie the plates together on the top side. If you remember there's kind of a keyway notch on the bottom but I've done just the bottom part of a half dovetail and I left myself three inches from the top side of it where it's flat down to where the notch begins and I'll have a good substantial amount of wood there left on this to lock the top part of the plate logs. Now I went ahead and scored this before I cut it so this won't be fit it'll just slide down in the notch on the plate log and lock it together on the top side. This is the center line on the plate log. Now what I've done I came up from the center line four inches to the top side of the plate. I did some measuring and figured out the height that I needed out of my log up above the second floor and I came up since there is a three inch part left on the half log I came down three inches or actually I came up one inch from the center line to get my inside mark here after I leveled up the inside face of the law or the half log and laid out the half dovetail and cut this part of it and I took I turned the log over and I leveled it back up and I put my level on the bottom side and I got the top which was up it's actually the outside of the log I made sure that this side here was parallel or level with the inside because this will actually be housed in the notch on top of the plate log and after I did all that I I measured to see what I had and this was just a, a little bit under six inches. So I transferred these marks to the top plate logs and I scored the lines that I made there. I'll show you on the plate log what I've done. This is the inside shoulder of the plate and I've cut this real clean all the way around. Since that one half log was just a little under six inches, there is a real where my pencil point is there's a real faint faint line and I came in just a little bitty bit it was less than a 30 second well it might be about a 30 second and I'll try to color that in and that was where I made my mark and I scored this with my utility knife before I cut all of this out this right here is my center line and as I said a little bit ago I came up one inch from the center line for the inside part of the uh, of the half dovetail and I've scored these lines with my utility knife and this line right here will be the width of the uh, half log and I transferred it all the way around to the outside. To show you how I lay out the outside face of the log I really didn't even have to use a template but I'll show you how this works. My logs are six inches thick I've drawn this on on my template so that you can kind of see and I have a three inch notch that I'm cutting into the top plate. I came up from the center line one inch and on the outside I came down from the center line one inch. So in a one and three angle in six inches you're going to either gain or lose two inches. So with my three inch notch on the inside or three inch mark on the outside of the log it will be five inches because there is a two inch difference so the outside will be two in or five inches down from the top side of the plate so there is a two inch difference there so i know to come down from the center line on the outside five inches and up from the center line on the inside one inch and that will give me the angle that I need. I've got this laid out and ready to cut. I'll stay away from these lines just a little bit with my saw and I'll just make a series of cuts down to the, the line on the inside. Then I'll go around to the outside 
I'll hold my saw at an angle, approximately the angle of the cut. I'll just go down close to the line here, and I'll, I'll try to keep my saw at an angle where I don't mess up, and then I can knock those pieces out and then come back and clean it up. Well, I've got the A-wall plate log, top plate log, strapped onto the hoist. Now, this is probably the heaviest log in the building. This one, even though seawall plate uh, log is about the same size, this log just seemed to be a little bit heavier. I'll have to bring uh, B and D wall in to control on the bottom side. I'm strapped on the C wall top plate. I got A wall up yesterday afternoon and it got laid on me and I, I didn't have time before dark to get this one up. But it's a nice sunshiny morning and I'm gonna do my best to get it up here. B wall half log is strapped up. I'll set it and then I'll have one more to go. And all the logs on this cabin will be up with the exception of the half logs that go down at the bottom. I don't, you'd normally worry about them at this point. Once I get these uh, half logs up, I'll fall back and start working on the rafters. <laughs> 